Okay, so uh, today is the day low-end PC gamers shine, okay? Uh, but how exactly? That we'll see in the video. So make sure to subscribe before this video starts because only not even two, I mean less than two percent of you are subscribed. So yeah, do subscribe to the channel and let's start the video. Okay, so first of all, let's start from the basic stuff. Just go to your system and go to properties. Here you will see uh, tools. The tools, just click optimize under optimize and defragment drives. Here you will see two options and they will be the disks that you have connected to your PC right now. Just hit optimize, whichever disk you want and you can wait for it to complete but it can take quite a bit so yeah you can just because sometimes if you haven't done it even once it can take quite a bit like pass one pass two pass three to complete so yeah you can just do it a bit what else you can do is just click change settings and set it to weekly now hit windows r and type percent temp percent so these are all the temporary files and folders that are in your PC, which are eating up space and making your PC slow. So just go ahead and delete this permanently by pressing shift delete and skip the ones that cannot be deleted. Now go to the search bar again by typing windows and by hitting windows R and type prefetch. Hit continue and control A, shift delete, enter. Now we have cleared the all the cache data and the clutter from the PC. So you will get some free space in your PC and your PC will run a bit better. Now right click, go to display settings and scroll down, go to graphics and here just click browse and select the games that you play like uh, that's it Resident Evil 2 select the game and click options and select high performance click ok so you can do this with every game you play like Valorant options high performance save Genshin options high performance save like that now uh, just go to this PC right click go to properties and go to advanced system settings and uh, advanced and the performance click settings and uncheck this box instead select this one for best performance hit apply and go to advanced section under virtual memory click change and by default this box is automatically checked so make sure to uncheck it select the drive that you want and then change the virtual memory size by clicking custom size and entering it here uh, in my case I'm not changing it for the C drive but I have changed it for the D drive so you can go ahead click custom set it to 100 initial size and maximum to 3000 Just hit OK it will prompt you to restart so you can restart afterwards hit OK and OK so we will restart it later now we have set the graphics options correct we have cleared the jump from the PC and we have changed some visual settings of the PC right let's talk about your RAM uh, if you have a DDR3 or DDR4 RAM then you must be having XMP profile in your RAM what XMP profile basically does is uh, okay let me take my example I have DDR4 RAM that is 3200 megahertz and if I just use it as is then I nearly get 2300 megahertz or 2600 megahertz only but if I go to the bio section and set the XMP profile to 1 then I can get 3200 megahertz frequency that is advertised on the RAM so if you have XMP profile on your RAM you can just go ahead and enable it in the bio section so basically you're just overclocking your RAM but what overclocking does is it voids warranty but in this case if you enable XMP it doesn't void warranty so to get the maximum possible performance from your RAM you can go ahead and enable XMP profile in your BIOS section so how to go to your BIOS section just restart your PC and keep pressing delete F11 or escape depends on your 
motherboard once you are in the BIOS section you can just go ahead to the RAM section and select XMP profile 1 there are two profiles mostly 1 and 2 so 1 is the safer option so go ahead and select the XMP profile 1 as in my case I have selected XMP profile 1 now what you can do is just go ahead and we'll drop down this link in the description so you can just go ahead and download the driver that you like as in my case uh, I have GT 1030 I know it's not really a good GPU nowadays but yeah that's all I have select your operating system we want game ready drivers obviously and hit search so you can see you can just read about the highlights which nobody actually cares so just click download either you can download the graphic drivers from here or you can just go ahead to your nvidia settings or nvidia uh, control panel or geforce experience and update your drivers from there in case you have amd i will drop down link from for amd drivers as well so you can just go ahead and update your drivers whether you have amd or nvidia now the next step is just go to the search bar and type power settings or you will see edit power plan and choose a power plan so just click choose a power plan here and you will see a list of power plans listed so just in case you have balanced or high performance just set it to ultimate performance and if like in my case I have Ryzen CPU so it's just having some more power plans like AMD Ryzen high performance and balanced so just select ultimate but in many cases I have seen ultimate performance is not really listed in the power plan so no need to worry you can create an ultimate performance power plan yourself how exactly you can see that video on the top right corner right now so after this video you can go ahead and watch it out on how to create your own ultimate performance power plan so just select the ultimate performance and you are good to go now one more thing is just if you're in a game just click properties and under compatibility select run this program as administrator so yeah it does help a lot and one more thing when you play games on your PC uh, just make sure to run the games in full screen if you run the games in windowed or full screen windowed that can affect the performance of the game on high-end PCs or mid-end PCs it might not be a problem but if you are a low-end PC user then yeah it's a noticeable difference if you just play on a full screen or you play on full screen window so yeah just make sure to play on full screen because that way the game will get the maximum priority and what else you can do is when the game is running just go to the task manager and set the priority to highest like this.